Hi yogis, my name is Tom and welcome to my yoga channel. In today's practice, we are going to do an intermediate vinyasa yoga practice. Vinyasa has a great way of getting our bodies to open up and getting our lungs to breathe deeply. That is exactly what we're going to do. If you're new to this channel, you can support me by pressing the subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. And if you're back, welcome. Thank you for being here again. Let's get to it. Let's begin by coming into a child's pose to tune into our bodies and to notice what's going on before we move. When you're ready, come onto your hands and your knees, bring your knees and your feet together and send your hips back before lowering your torso and your forehead down. Let's take five deep breaths in and out here to tune in to what's going on and to notice if there's any tension or tightness we need to be mindful of as we move. If you do notice that there is some kind of tightness or tension, focus in on that space and notice its shape. Notice how it feels in your body. And just check that it feels okay to move with it today. And if it does, great. Just breathe into it and feel it soften as you exhale. But if it doesn't, then you might want to skip this video. Just do what feels right for you. And when you're ready, you can gently blink your eyes open, press into the tops of your feet, and walk your hands back towards your hips. I'm just going to gently open up our feet by lifting our knees off the floor. Just hold here for a moment. And then exhale to lower your knees down. Let's tuck the toes under, press into our hands, and stretch into the feet this way. Just go so far back as feels comfortable for you. Gently warming the body up. Take another big breath in. And exhale to bring your body forward. Tap your feet out. Come into a tabletop position. Press your back up to the ceiling. And then flow into three cat cows. Dropping your belly down. Opening your chest up as you breathe in. Exhale to roll your back to the ceiling. And drop your chin down. Two more. After your third exhale, come back to a neutral position. Step your right leg back and then lift your left arm up and out in front of you. Lift your right leg up off the floor. Find your balance. Take a big breath in. Exhale to bring your left elbow and your right knee together. Inhale, extend. Exhale to bring it together. Two more. Good. Bring the limbs back down onto the mat. Step your left leg back. Extend your right arm out. And then lift that left leg up off the floor. Breathing in. Breathing out. Bring it together. Three breaths. Good. Bring everything onto the floor. Step back into a plank. Three breaths here as well. Feel your core working. And get used to engaging it because it's really going to help you move and flow through your practice. Take your final big breath in. And as you exhale, tilt forward onto the tips of your toes and lower yourself down all the way onto your belly and onto your chest. Inhale, press your feet into the floor, lift your chest up. Exhale, roll your spine down. Inhale, power up to a plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your hips and your heels up off the floor. Exhale, step them forward to the top of the mat, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. 
And exhale, bring your hands through to your heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Two more rounds. One more. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, float all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step back into your plank. Take a big breath in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal your knees out left to right. Just take a moment to pause here to catch your breath. And to once again be mindful if there was any tightness in your body, any tension. And when you're ready, come back to a neutral position. Inhale to lift your hips and your heels up off the floor. Exhale, ground your heels down. Inhale, lift them up and this time roll forward into a plank. Exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Two more. Inhaling forward into plank. Exhale, down dog. One more. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step it forward to the top of the mat. Drop your back knee to the ground. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, sink your hips down. Two more. Float your hands onto the floor. Lift the back knee up off the ground. Step your left foot to the halfway point in your mat and drop your right heel to the ground so that both, toe, both sets of toes are pointing to the left side of your mat. Then lift your left arm up. And as you exhale, lift your hips up and bring your left hand underneath your right armpit. Reach it as far back behind you as you can. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, sweep it back. Two more. And then inhale, lift up, bring your left hand down and onto the floor, step back into your plank, lower into your vinyasa flow. Keep breathing here. Inhale to plank, exhale down dog. Inhale, lift your hips and your heels up off the ground. Exhale to ground them down. And then inhale, lift your right leg up, press the heel back. And exhale to step the foot forward to the top of the mat. Drop the back knee to the floor. Sweep your arms up. Exhale, sink the hips. Two more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, float everything down. Good. Lift your left knee up off the floor. Bring your right foot to the halfway point in your mat. Turn your toes to point out to the right side. Lift your hips up. Lift your right arm up. Exhale. Sweep your right arm underneath your left armpit. Reach your right arm back. Two more. Or three more, rather. Good, inhale, lift your right arm up, bring it back behind you and flow through your vinyasa. Keep it going. Take a big breath in, lift your hips and your heels up off the floor. And as you exhale, bring your hips back, drop your knees to hover above the mat. So you're in like a floating child's pose. Press into your hands and look forward at your hands and then hop your feet to your wrists. Come into your malasana. Good. Bring your arms into your knees and your palms together. And just focus on 
softening and relaxing here and slowing down your breathing. Now your heart rate is up. See if you can bring your awareness inwards to the breath. And try to slow down a little bit. Three breaths. One more. Good, when you're ready, open your eyes. From here, extend your right arm out and press your right arm into your left knee. Use that as a pivot point to twist yourself to the left side, lift your left arm up. Turn your left palm to face the ceiling. This will externally rotate your shoulder and keep it out of your neck. Keep pressing your right arm into your right knee. Look up at that left arm and take three breaths. Big breaths into your belly and into your chest. Bring everything together, nice and easy. And then extend your left arm out. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Pressing your left arm into your left knee, reach your right arm up and turn your palm to face the ceiling. If you'd like, you can try and turn your palm to face the floor, but just notice what happens in your right shoulder. Notice that your shoulder and your neck kind of get crampy. That's what we're trying to avoid. So turning the palm up helps stop that. Press the left arm and the left knee together. Two more breaths here. Good job, bring everything back together. And from here, we're gonna bring our hands onto the floor. We're gonna step our feet wide to come into a wide-legged stance, like so. Cool, just take it easy on your hamstrings in case they're not feeling warmed up. Just notice that my left one is a little bit tight. From here, inhale into a halfway lift. And once you're in your halfway lift, start to press into the edges of your feet. Good. And I want you to plant your left hand down onto the floor, directly in the middle and underneath your chest. Lift your right arm up. And as you lift your right arm up, press your left hand down into the floor. This will help and serve as that pivot point again. Try and look up at your right hand. And see if you can turn your palm in the direction of that the top of your head is pointing as well. This again keeps the shoulder and the neck away from each other. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, float your right hand down. And again, bring your right hand this time directly underneath the center of your chest. Press it down and lift your left arm up. Have a go at not pressing your right hand down and notice if you feel that that pivot point either is increased or decreased in how much you can use it. I think that makes sense. The more you press down, the more you can twist effectively. It's what I'm trying to say in a complicated way. <laughs> One more big breath in. Exhale, float your left arm down. Good, from here, come to the top of your mat. Flow through your vinyasa. Good. Bend your knees left to right. The last little exercise we're going to do is we're going to bring ourselves forward into a plank and lower ourselves down onto the floor. What I want you to do here is effectively what is a very scientifically called the Superman pose. So have a go. Bring your hands beside you and bring your fingernails to touch the floor. I want you to press down into your fingernails, press down into your toenails, Right? <laughs> it's an interesting choice of words, I know. And from here, keep that pressure down as you lift your chest up off the floor and squeeze your shoulders together. Keep pressing those feet down, they wanna lift. Take three breaths here. One more.
And after your exhale, lower your torso onto the floor. If you need a rest for a moment, come onto your cheek and just let your shoulders relax. What we're gonna do next is lift our bodies in the same way, but this time we're gonna lift our hands off the floor. We're gonna keep pressing our feet down though. So when you're ready, bring your fingernails onto the floor, bring your toenails onto the floor, press down and lift up, just like you did before. And this time, squeeze your shoulders together, lift your hands up and reach your arms back. Take three deep breaths. That's it, keep reaching your hands back. Good, exhale, lower down, nice and slow. Let's take a moment to rest here. Next, we're gonna lift the feet up off the floor and do the exact same thing, but this time what I want you to do is instead of letting the feet lift up um, without any kind of care or effort, I'd like you to imagine that you're reaching your feet back and pressing them down into something that isn't there. And what this does is it engages the muscles we wanna use when we come up into this pose, which is our thighs and our glutes. So if you notice here, as you lie down, you press your feet into the floor, you notice that your thighs and your glutes engage. We're gonna do that. Bring your fingernails onto the floor, your toenails onto the floor, inhale to lift up. And from here, lift your arms up, reach them back. Lift your feet up, reach them back, engage the thighs and the glutes, and hold here for three breaths. You got this. One more. And then lower down, relax. Take a moment, feel the shoulders relax. And next, and for our final pose, we're gonna come up into a bow pose. If you've come up into a bow pose before, you might wanna come into it now, but if you're new to it, just watch and just be a little bit patient with this explanation because coming up into it safely be the difference between feeling good in the pose and not feeling good in the pose. When you're ready, take your hands under your shoulders and try to soften the tops of your shoulders. I want you to keep that space around the trapezius as soft as you can. And I want you to bend your knees and from here, take one hand back and around the foot, the other hand back and around the other foot. And instead of lifting your torso up and cranking that way, I want you to engage your thighs. Notice how when you engage your thighs, your feet press into your hands. Well, this is our lift. So the more that your thighs engage, the more lift you're gonna get. All right, then engage your glutes, feel the tops of your shoulders soften, and kind of reach your feet backwards by engaging those thighs, holding this pose for three breaths. Just keep breathing. One more. Good, and then soften everything down, extend your feet, take your hands underneath you. Take a moment to pause in case you need to rest, in case you feel any cramping. And when you're ready, tuck your toes under, power up into a plank, and exhale back to your down dog nice and slow. Feel the stretch in your spine. Hold here for three breaths. Let your spine unravel. And then to close the practice, what we're gonna do is bring our knees onto the floor and bring ourselves into an extended child's pose. So bring your knees wide, your feet together, sand your hips back and extend your arms out. Drop your head down, take five deep breaths. Pay particular attention to your spine and your back and feel that space soften and relax. When you're ready, press into your feet and your hands and lift yourself up to tabletop. And let's just do three cat cows to kind of close the class. I like to tuck my toes under, drop my belly down as I breathe in. 
And on the exhale, I flatten my feet out, round my back up. You might want to do the same. Notice how much more open your spine feels. And take one more breath here. From here, cross your ankles over. Just come down into a seated position and then onto your back. Extend your legs out on the floor and allow your body to rest. Take one hand onto your belly, one hand onto your chest. And breathe. We're going to close the class here with 10 deep breaths in and out. Just take that time to notice your breathing, to notice your body, and trust that it's a time where your body and your mind integrate what you've just done. Feel your body soften with each exhale. Breathe in a little deeper with each inhale. Five more deep breaths in. Feel your spine and your back soften and relax. Feel the muscles around your temple, just, just like the edges of your eyebrows. Feel that space there soften. Feel your third eye point or your brow above your eyebrows. I don't know why eyebrows are your reference point today, but they are. Feel that space soften. And then feel the top of your head soften. Feel all tension float away. And then really gently begin to wriggle your fingers and your toes. Take a breath in and stretch your arms and your legs in opposite directions. So you exhale, roll over onto your left side. Take a moment to rest here. To tune into your body one more time. Then gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Thank you very much for joining me for today's vinyasa practice. I hope that you enjoyed that class and if you did, it really does help if you press the subscribe button or leave me a comment or a like. I hope to see you again and have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste.